There are a lot of videos on GBT-01 preview right now, but I wanted to make a video with a very real use case for this amazing new model, which has the ability to think. You're gonna to wanna to watch this video if you want to add data visualizations to blog posts that already exist, or if you want a quick and easy way to rank better on Google using the new GPT model. Let's just get straight into this video. So on my screen here, we have DapaFam. DapaFam is one of our clients. I'm gonna show you how we can improve their content very quickly and very easily. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna drag down to the bottom of the article like this so that you've highlighted everything. Then you wanna go on Google and type paste to markdown and then just control V to paste and then control A, control C. This will give you all of the content, all of the links, everything that you need, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do Claude and also ChatGPT at the same time. So I'll put this in Claude and then I will also put this in ChatGPT. And then the prompt is just very simple. It's make a beautiful, modern, interesting data visualization using only HTML and style tags. This is the article. Do not change the article overall. Only make a data visualization that adds the article. Don't give unnecessary HTML tags as this is going on Shopify. So we'll send that to Claude 3.5 and we'll also send this to uh, ChatGPT 01 preview. As you can see at the top, it is literally called ChatGPT 01 preview, even though there's a bit of confusion with the name. Some people call it um, 01 preview. Some people call it GPT 01 preview. Okay, so this is what we got from Claude. This is, you know, this is fine. Uh, but this is actually not really based on anything. This isn't real. Uh, there's no evidence that 92% or, or 9.2 uh, comfort ratings. It just it doesn't really make sense as a data visualization. So we'll see what um, ChatGPT01 preview came up with instead. So we'll go to W3 Schools Try It Editor, Control A, Control V, and then Run. Uh, this seems to have uh, made up images which is kind of annoying. So I'll just say, don't make up images. And then I'll say to Claude, don't make up data. Just to show you, I ran this before we started recording this, the exact same prompt. And this is what GPT-01 preview came out with. So you can see this is a really nice and also mobile friendly infographic that could fit into basically any article. Um, so this is a really, this is exactly what we were looking for. This kind of stuff, um, is amazing for articles. Just so you know, you can actually just take a like take a picture of this. If you're on WordPress, for example, it might actually just be easier to press print screen and then take a screenshot and then control V onto WordPress. That's probably the better way to do it. So we'll see here what this says. Again, this is just, it's gone back to the same thing. Uh, it's pretty cool that it's um, animated, but yeah, it's really not the best. Um, it seems to be obsessed with this comfort thing and with making up data which is not what I wanted at all. I didn't want made up data. So one of the biggest issues with GPT-01 preview right now is the lack of um, usage that you're allowed to do. If you don't know, you can use the playground as well if you have access to this model, which not everybody does, but we do. We actually have two tier five development accounts. We've probably spent $20,000 on uh, OpenAI uh, in the last year or maybe a year and a half. So we'll see what this came out with. Let's just see if it's made up any images. It doesn't look like it's made up any images, so we'll run here. This is fine, perfectly good. This is a nice one, two, three, four, five. Um, I wouldn't call this an infographic, but like a step-by-step -step maybe. It's mobile friendly again, so one cool thing about um, GPT-0 preview, it does seem to give a shit, you can see here, about um, mobile friendliness, which is not something that Claude does often. So let's just see if this is mobile friendly. We'll press copy here, same thing, run. If I do this, what happens? Oh, it is mobile friendly as well. So they are both mobile friendly in this case, which is great. So what we can do here is, let's say we liked this one here. This is perfectly good, but I actually prefer this one here. This is much better. So what we can do is we can easily put this into an article. So we'll go to Shopify. It's gonna be on a different Shopify account. It's not gonna be on DapaFam just because I don't wanna log into DapaFam right now. So let's say we wanted to add this to one of our articles. So we'll click online store, click blog post. Let's find an article about shoes, there we go. So this is bespoke kit on 
sneakers, blah, blah, blah. So we'll click in here, we'll click the HTML thing, and let's say we want to, let's just put it at the end of the article because it's probably easiest. So we'll just paste that there and then press show. And then if we scroll all the way down, we should see our beautiful infographic right here. Let me just see if this mentions, okay, no, this is actually fine. We can save this. I've just added that to this article just because it actually fits with this article. And then let's just scroll down and there we go. Beautiful infographic added to the article without a lot of effort whatsoever. Now, Harbor does do this automatically. If you're interested, you can just go to harborseo.ai. We're improving things every single day. If you want this to be built into your articles automatically, then use Harbor. If not, then use the methodology that I have just shown you. Two Men is at an all-time high of 847 clicks. It's never been above 847. We're almost at 1,000 clicks a day. And the most recent date, you know, 755 ish clicks. So, um, two men's going extremely well. We're going to keep posting to two men, showing it as a case study. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that this was very, very helpful. This is a huge upgrade to the data visualization thing because it has the ability to reason before it creates it, which means it creates much, much better things out of the box without you doing a lot of complicated prompt engineering. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, thank you. You're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.